I was driving in a roundabout and started to hear my tires squealing. I got to thinking about coefficient of friction and how it applies to car's tires. In this problem, we will solve for the max velocity, coefficient of friction, and radius when only given two of the variables listed. For the first step of this problem, we want to find out what the maximum velocity you can travel around a curve or roundabout with radius of 12 meters, which was measured on Google Earth, in a car with a tire static coefficient of friction of 0.65. The equations we'll be using are mass times velocity squared over the radius of the path equals the centripetal force needed to keep the car on the path. We will also be using the frictional force equals the coefficient of static friction times the normal force of the vehicle. Now there really is only one force keeping the car on the path, which is the frictional force. The frictional force is causing the vehicle to go around in a circular path, so it is causing the car to accelerate towards the center. This means that the maximum frictional force and the centripetal acceleration force are the same thing. We can set the max frictional force equal to the centripetal acceleration force to find the maximum velocity. So we are left with the coefficient of friction times the normal force being equal to the mass times velocity squared over the radius. Recall that on a flat surface, normal force is mass times gravity. So we will plug that in where the normal force is on the frictional force side of the equation. Now we notice that both sides have mass, so mass can be canceled out and removed from the equation. This means that the maximum friction velocity will be the same regardless of the mass of the vehicle as long as the coefficient of friction is the same. So a compact coupe has the same frictional max velocity as a semi-truck with the same coefficient of friction. For the next step, we need to give velocity to one side. So we will need to multiply both sides by the radius of the curve. Now we need to take the square root of both sides to get a single velocity by itself. We are left with the square root of the coefficient of friction times gravity times the radius being equal to the maximum velocity of the vehicle around the curve. Plugging in all of our numbers and pressing the enter key on our calculator, we are left with the max velocity being equal to 8.74 meters per second. This equals a little less than 20 miles per hour or about 31 kilometers per hour. On to the second part of the problem. What is the coefficient of friction if you can travel around a curve at a max velocity of 10 meters per second before slipping, with the curve's radius being 12 meters? We can use the same formulas that were used in the previous step. All we need to do is rearrange the formula to get the coefficient by itself on one side, so we will divide both sides by the acceleration due to gravity. After plugging in our numbers, we get a coefficient of static friction of 0.85. To finish off this problem, let's find the radius if you can travel around the curve at a max velocity of 11 meters per second with a coefficient of static friction of 0.7. We can use the same formulas, but this time we're trying to get the radius to one side of the equation. We can start out by multiplying both sides by the radius and dividing both sides by the coefficient of friction times gravity. We are left with the radius being equal to the velocity squared over the coefficient of static friction times gravity. Plugging in our numbers, we get a radius of 17.64 meters. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Thank you for watching.